Hi, I'm JJ Bach, Director of Operations for Rubberine. Welcome to another episode of In Stock with Bach. Today, we're here with our friends at Rima Tip Top in Madison, Georgia. Ever wonder how tire lube is made? Let's head in and find out. How you doing? Good, how are you? Nice to see you. Welcome to Rima Tip Top North America. We're excited to be a part of this. Uh, what makes Rima Tip Top a standout in the industry? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Let's turn around and take a look at the historical board here, the cabinet we have. Uh, Rima Tip Top has been in North America for 70 years now. Top's a global company um, based in Germany. It's been around since the 20s. From the stance of the industrial industry, they know Rima Tip Top for mining equipment. From our side of it, they're known as the automotive, which is tire repair production, lube and paste, and mounting compound all under one facility. That's fantastic. Let's take a look. Yep, let's do it. Thank you. Yep. So as we start to walk in our production facility, the first big thing you see are the large vats of the raw material to produce what we're about to see over here. Okay. As we come to this area, we'll notice that there's six to seven large vats that hold all types of different oils, which at the end of the day produce our paste line, which okay. is the bread and butter where we started with our lube and paste line at Rima Tip Top North America. Let's keep, let's keep going. Yep, let's do it. As we walk up, this is one of our newer lines. Uh, this is a huge change in our capacity of lube everything from expandable hub lube to leak detector to tire shine is all now produced on the lower quantity increments. Um, so your spray bottles up to a gallon will all be produced now on a single production line. As you can see, at most it needs three people. Typically you can run it with two. So you're working to automate the process. Absolutely. To help efficiency. Absolutely. That's amazing. Yep. That's a great step in the future. This is a big effort at Rima Tip Top North America is to automate as much as possible. Fantastic. So we'll take a glance over here at our, our rubber calendar. When I say rubber calendar, rubber comes in in different formats. Um, we work it a little bit and then we take it to what would be like a gumball essentially. And with that, it is run through the system, multiple rollers to actually come out and produce everything from cushion gum to the actual baseline product that you find on the back side of tire repair. So the calendar is actually like the roller system that you have set up in each different section. Absolutely. Right? If you That's were to awesome. take a piece of gum and roll it through this, it'd come out perfectly flat to our dimensions required. One of the things I brought up at the beginning was a discussion about our industrial side of the business. Just a quick glance, I wanna show you where we share this facility with our sister division. Um, just to kind of give you a glance and understanding of the size of what that calendar can do. This whole rack here is nothing but basically conveyor belt rubber. And that's both sides of it. Both sides of it. Yeah. That's, that's intense. So that's what that calendar, one of the many things it's doing is rolling out uh, mining conveyor belts. That's awesome. That, that machine's got to be going almost all the time. It does. It does. It's a good part of the business here. JJ, we're going to take a walk now into our main shipping and warehousing facility. Uh, this is this is a lifeblood. It's what they put in the box, how they do it, um, is what, again, is a, a signature mark. Well, it's how it's received, and that's the Absolutely. determining factor on whether or not they're going to buy again. Absolutely. Right? Um, you, you receive a package and it's not in a tip-top shape, then uh, you remember that. But <laughs> No so, pun intended. So as we look here, one of our big areas on the shipping side is we have all of our fast-moving product, our higher volumes that are quick to pull to. And this is our picking packing station um, in reference to the end of the warehouse, the shipping side. So JJ, what you see here is everything that we sell and manufacture is gonna be warehoused in this facility. Uh, at the end of the day, this facility is about 202,000 square foot uh, with about a third to 40% of it being nothing but warehousing. This is a great view of our, our production capabilities and storage capabilities of our lube, paste, and mounting compound. Lewis, before we dive into the tire repair demo, let's go over a couple of the product brands Rima offers. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the big, big items about Rima Tip Top North America is that we offer three different brands for every part of the marketplace. Um, so we start with kind of our everyday line, uh, Kex, which most people will begin to see a new logo, new brand uh, effort there. It's a little bit of an expanded line, but really meant for the passenger tire and light commercial, right? And that's where it ceases. To take the next step up, we look at Prima, which is a North American brand um, that is produced all in North America. Uh, and that's going from all the way from your light passenger all the way up to your heavy duty. Fantastic. Okay? And then the, the tip top of the brands uh, is Rima Tip Top. This product is produced in Germany with the exceptions all three of these have chemical lube and paste produced in this facility, which you've seen today.
Lewis, I can't thank you enough for your hospitality. It's been a great visit showing our viewers an inside look at Rima Tip Top. Thank you very much for your time. And thank you for rubber support. Absolutely. That's it for another episode of InStack with Bach. Please contact your local Rubber Inc. account manager today. Check out the full line of Rima products at rubber-inc.com. Quick search, Rima.